Hey what's up everyone welcome back to one more Elden Ring video. In this video I want to go over how you can obtain the Dark Moon Greatsword in Elden Ring. One of my favorite greatsword that I have at the moment. It is an incredible awesome sword, it looks amazing and it has a unique skill, the Moonlight Sword. When you raise a sword aloft, bathing it in the light of the Dark Moon temporarily increases magic attack and imbues blade with frost. And then when you perform a charge attack, it releases blast of moonlight. So the sword is great and all, but how can you obtain it? Well, it's going to be a very, very long quest to obtain the sword, but don't worry, I will make sure you have everything you need to know in this video to help you out with timestamps on the description and in the comments down below. With that said, let's begin. I believe the only prerequisite that we need it's to defeat the main boss, Godric, to advance a little bit north of the map to Lyrnia. Once done that, from here you will need to make your way through this path right here, up the map until you get to carry Manor. Now once here you want to complete the manor and also defeat the boss that's located at the Royal Mangazin grounds. Because after you defeat the boss you'll get access to pass through the back of the manor where we are gonna find Rennie's Rise. And here is basically where we're gonna start the quest and we will come back most of the time during this quest. So after defeating the boss and getting the checkpoint at the royal ground, you want to head over to Rennie's Rise which is one of the three towers that is located here in this backyard and Rennie's will be the one in the middle. So what you want to do is go all the way to the top of the tower where Rennie is and speak to her. Now as you're going through the conversation you want to choose no particular reason and then follow up from here you want to pick Sir Rennie the Witch. After done all that, you wanna go talk to the three spirits NPCs that are located in the same tower as you go down the levels. The first one will be the giant smith, so you wanna go there and talk to him. And follow off from there, you wanna turn left, go down the stairs and talk to Blade the wolf. And then finally to the left, there is a third NPC on the next room who you need to talk to. Now once done that, you wanna go back up the tower and speak to Rennie again. And then from here, your quest has begun. So from here, we wanna go down to the south of Lingrave, specifically to the Sea of Rhea River Well. If you haven't been here yet, the closest place you would be is the Third Church of America or just follow south until you get to this location. Once you get there, take the very epic long elevator down until you get basically in the underground of the map in Siofria River. Here basically follow all the path which is gonna bring you to a second elevator. And then from that elevator we want to follow up straight up this path until we meet the character Wolf Blade in his physical form. Just keep in mind that this area has a lot of enemies that will hit pretty hard and as you interact with Blade they will probably shoot arrows at you. Anyways follow the path as I show you and talk to Blade once you meet him. So after that we want to go back to Lernia to one of the three towers located on the back of the manor but this time is the one that is more to the south, the Selvis Rise. In here you want to speak to the NPC Selvis but make sure you do it a couple of times because the first time he will give you a quest and send you on your way. But the second time that we speak with him that's what we need and we need to choose the dialogue ask about Nokrom. By doing that, he will give you an item which is the cell of his introduction. Now following from that, we want to go to Caleb and more specifically all the way to the south where we can find the side of grace impossible great bridge. From here, you want to use the portal that's located to the left side of the bridge which will teleport us to the Ratman castle. Thankfully there is no combat once you get in here, just make sure you grab the side of grace located inside of this room on the right side. 
and then after that you want to run over to the courtyard where you're gonna find the character blade and you will want to have a conversation with him first and then once you've done that you want to go through this gate and up the stairs take a left and go up the stairs again and talk to this npc by doing so he will ask you are you ready to begin the festival which we want to say ready as i'll ever be now from this point on a cutscene will play on your screen which i will not show for spoilers reasons so once you've done that you want to turn around to the castle behind you and go inside that you will run through the first door and run through the second door and then take the right and exit where you can find an elevator taking this elevator down it will bring you to a beach where there is a portal in front of you and taking this portal will put you in a boss fight specifically a main boss fight which i will not show you again for spoilers reasons but anyways after defeating this boss a cutscene will play which i will show this one because it's important part of this quest and then after that you will find blade next to the side of grace you want to go and talk to him before you rest in the side of grace because it seems like he will disappear after resting in there at least it did for me but thankfully i talked to him beforehand so after that we want to head over to lingrave again and this time to the fort hide west once you get here you can look up to the sky and you will see a sort of like crashed meteor which was from the cutscene after the boss fight now from here you want to follow up the path that i'm going to show you how to go down which will lead us to the new location under the map which is the nakrom the eternal city This place is actually incredible and wild for the fact that it's hidden underneath the map. But anyways, you want to follow my path once again to get to the next side of Grace because there is a lot of parkour to do in here. And also you can basically dodge the, all of the enemies, you don't have to fight them, just follow up. But after grabbing this side of grace you want to head out of this courtyard and head over to this sort of alleyway and take the right and keep on going down where you're gonna see this boss room in front of you and you need to take him down also. Now after done with this boss you want to go up these stairs and at this point you can actually jump into your horse and make things a little bit faster. You basically want to run down this bridge until you pass through this big gate and then right after that you want to take a left on this broken wall of the bridge and then from here you want to keep on following my path from here. Now as you hug in left you will find another side of grace make sure you grab it because if you die you can always fast travel back here because there is gonna be a lot of parkour again ahead of us from here so follow up my path until you get to the another side of grace From this location you want to turn back where you're gonna see a lot of slimes you want to go past through them and end up to a stairs straight forward and then up the stairs again through this door where we're gonna find a chest now opening this chest will contain an item that we need the finger slayers blade this is basically the item that Rennis want us to get so after obtaining this item we can fast travel back to the tower Rennis rise Go all the way to the top, speak to her and give her this item. Now speaking with her for the first time, she will thank you. And then speaking with her for the second time, she will give you an item, the Carrion Inverted Statue. Now following from this point on, you want to follow over to Rana's Rise, which is the third tower located more to the north side of the courtyard.
Now, one thing to keep in mind though, if you go there, you find the door blocked, it's because you are in the daytime. What I did is head back to the side of grace nearby and pass the time to a night time. Doing so unlocked the door for me and then I came back here. So once here you want to go up the stairs and to the very top where you're gonna find another portal. By interacting with this portal it will take you to the next area we need to be Ansel River Main. Once you get here right in front of you there is a collectible in this coffin and you must pick this up. This is the miniature Renny and from this point we want to walk a little bit forward to a side of grace that's right here and rest on it. By sitting down you will find a new option on the side of grace which is talk to the miniature Renny. Now the first two times you try to talk to her you will simply get three dots but the third time Renny will actually start talking to you. This is necessary in order to continue the quest so make sure you do that. So follow up from here, we then need to continue again, just follow up the path that I'm gonna show you. Just make sure to stick to the left side, that will help you avoid getting murdered by this giant creature. And then basically what you need to do is run through here and keep on going down the river. It's a pretty straightforward path, so once again I'll let the video show you the path which will lead you to the Noxtel, the Eternal City. Once you arrive here you can drop down and pick up the side of grace right in front of you and then from here we want to run forward again in pretty straight line avoiding all of the NPCs of course until we get to this kind of like a church looking place to our left side. And then going inside you will find another elevator that we need to take going down. Once you get out you will find another side of grace right in front of you and then from here we need to run forward through this tunnel. Just make sure you avoid these nasty NPCs and then on the other side of this tunnel we will find the Belfull Shadow and this is basically the enemy that Renny asks us to take down. So take him down and then Renny will speak to you and thank you and also give you an item, the discarded palace key. This is an important item that we're gonna use but before we do that we want to run forward into this door take the elevator and grab the side of grace that you will find here because this will be a place that we'll need to fast travel back to in just a minute also right near this river blood you can grab the map of this underground location now after this we then want to return to raya lucaria grand library now this location is where you fight a boss some of you might have done this so because you fight this boss before you start this quest or for others like me when you go to this location now for the first time you will need to fight and defeat this boss for the first time so if you haven't defeated this boss let me show you how you can get to this location you want to fast travel to the debate parlor and then from here you want to go outside of this door and look to your right you will see these long stairs and that's where we need to go just be careful though there is gonna be giant balls falling from the sky going down the stairs so try to dodge them as much as you can now once you pass the stairs, you get to the door, you want to follow up straight all the way until you find a locked big door. Interacting with this, you will find inside the boss that we are looking for. Now after defeating her right next to her in the same room, there is a chest that is locked. But now that we have the key that we just got from Renny, we can open this chest and then from that chest you will get the Dark Moon Ring, also a very important item for this quest. Now that we're done, we can now return to the side of grace we just picked up on the lake of the root shore side. And then once here, you're gonna need to run in this direction all the way across the river root. You can use whatever strategy that you want, but in my case, I basically just brute forced it through. I have a lot of health and potions, so that helped me to reach to the other side of this river where I will find another side of grace where I can rest and cleanse the root off. Now from here you want to run down the stairs and jump over the side pillar and from there jump down as you follow my 
path because you can die if you jump down from too high but basically keep on following my path as you will take a left on this corner and then from here you want to interact to this open coffin which we will get inside and then following down to the next area now once you are here you can basically run towards this boss a uh, fog door which you know you will need to defeat this boss in order to progress to where we need to go once defeated the boss you want to grab this side of grace and run right behind it it is a sort of pathway follow it up until you find an elevator and by taking this elevator this will bring you to the moonlight altar once you get outside, there is a side of grace also to the left side. And then from there, you want to run towards this sort of church look like. And we're going to be going inside. Make sure to avoid the dragon that's going to be spawning on your left side. And going up the church, you're going to find another side of grace. And then on the right side of that side of grace, there is going to be a hole on the floor that we need to drop down. Make sure look carefully as you're going dropping down because... If you miss the drop, you will fall from high and then die from fall damage. Use a lantern or a torch, whatever you have. But once you drop down, follow the tunnel and you will find Rennie. You want to interact with her, a cutscene will play and then after that you will see her on her other form. Now after that she will disappear leaving behind an item that you can pick up from the floor. And this item will be the Dark Moonlight Greatsword. A legendary great sword one of my favorite it looks awesome great for my collection but keep in mind this one does require an intelligence of 38 so quite high but if you have that this is definitely worth the grind because it's quite a long quest but anyways i hope this guide was helpful enough for you if it was a like on this video would really help me out subscribe for more and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace